friends and family, how are you guys doing today? So I just received a parcel and I thought we'd do a quick unboxing of it together. I wanted to get myself one of those mystery boxes and I went and had a look online and I found a Kogan one for $15. So I thought maybe we could do a review on the Kogan being a cheap mystery box and see what it's got inside. So they didn't reveal to me what it was when I was online. However, the mistake was when they sent me the invoice to say it's been delivered, on the invoice it tells you what's coming inside. So it's a little bit of a disappointment. I know what's in here. You don't. So that's going to be fun. Um, still sealed. I haven't opened it at all. I'm dying to open it to see what's inside. So let's get to that. So this is the package. Let's see, I'm not going to show you the other side. My address is on there. But and that is the front. And we're going to snip it open. I always put my scissor in through the top and cut it like that, just in case there's something there and you don't want to snip it. Let's have a look. Okay, so first of all, I've got an envelope saying partner offers. I'm going to cut that open, I can see what it says partner offers. I'm going to open and see what it is inside here. So inside, I got a wine voucher for $100. From what I understand, these aren't really worthwhile. I offered the last one I got to a friend at my son's kindy and she totally said no thank you. So apparently they're not really that great to get, but I'll find something to do with that. And then I got a HelloFresh card, 40% off. So these are very popular at the moment. I have, we did recently do the dinnerly, but the dinnerly didn't work out for us. Reason being, a lot of the recipes are not really based for us, a lot of Asian style, a lot of, um, it's also for me on keto, it didn't make sense, a lot of pastas, a lot of rice. So we decided to go back on our own again and I'm making meals for me based on keto and incorporating what the guys will eat and the kids. So, but anyway, this is nice, hello fresh, I'll probably give that to someone if they want it, otherwise I will just toss it. But that's the little partner offers I got. Okay, so firstly, I got this. Heart of Love. It's an 18K gold plated. Precision tip maintains shape and cleans up eyebrows. Built in light. Lets you see even the finest hairs. Comfortable hold for maximum control. Perfect for eyebrows, gentle on all skin types. So what I like that I got this is I have started having to do my own eyebrows. It's a lot more expensive here in Australia, maybe because I'm converting still, but once I stop all that, maybe it's not that bad. But to do your eyebrows on your own, I think this is going to be awesome. Let's take it out the box. Okay, so first of all, important warranty information comes inside and then you've got your instructions so it's a quick start guide and the back is some more nice to get instructions with it a lot of times when you order things from china you don't get all these nice um, pictured descriptions they tend to like to just do a quick scribble and and also it doesn't always make sense so that's nice then, inside of this little plastic compartment, there's a little brush. I assume that's to clean it, clean off the top from your eyebrow hairs. And then, you've got this very cute looking pen. I actually think that is really nice. I mean, how nice is that? Looks pretty, hey? This seems to be a rose gold. You're not really seeing it very clearly on my screen. And then... I think it looks really fancy. It's really, really, really nice. Actually, did not expect to get. Then I've opened it. And that's what it looks like. Now, to test this out, I'm probably going to need to do another video. I might add it to this. I'll just do it in my bathroom. That's what the front looks like. If you can see. I don't actually know how to show you the front. There we go. There we go. 
Okay, that's the front. Um, I don't know if it's got batteries in it. No, it needs batteries. It doesn't come with batteries. I have, so thank goodness I've always got batteries in my house. I wait until you get the big packs on special and I buy those. So this we'll have to test out and do a little review online. That'll be great, but I'm, I'm quite happy with this purchase. This one, I've actually seen one online the other day that I wanted and it was way over $15. That I wanted to purchase. So this is actually very nice. When I saw on my email that this was coming, uh, I was quite happy. So when I did the research on this, it said one salon product and one other product. So I was thinking more of a shampoo or something like that was going to come an actual product, but I'm really not not unhappy with this. I'm very excited to test this out. Hopefully I can get some nice shaped eyebrows. Let's see if I can shape them properly. Okay, so let's move on to the next item in the bag. And the next one. Okay, so this is a facial hair remover. Okay, so firstly, I don't really have facial hair to remove. So I'm probably never going to use this. I might put this aside. I would like to do a giveaway at some stage further on along the line. And I might just put this in there. Um, I'm, I'm not one with facial hair problems. Besides my eyebrows... I don't think I'll actually use this, but let's see. Unfortunately, I don't think you can use it for men's hairs. I think men's hairs are thicker than ladies. So we're going to open this up. Let me first explain to you what it says. It says trim, edge, and perfect in front. Also 18 carat, that rose gold look. No nicks, no bumps, no irritation. It's light pivoting head for complete control. Precision trimming, control and convenience, no water, no shaving cream. Includes one facial hair remover, one USB charging cable. I did not see that. It must be in there somewhere. And um, one cleaning brush. So that's what the back looks like. Okay. So it looks like it's from the same collect same yeah, it's the same the same family. Just two different pro products. Okay, so that now comes with another instruction. Also the, the warranty, which came with the first one. And then your instruction manual. So two page of instructions. Like I said, this I'm not going to use. So I won't be doing a review on it product-wise in use. Because if I'm going to give it to somebody, I don't think that would be ethical. So I'm going to put this away safely, but I'm going to show you first of all what it looks like. So also the little brush, just to obviously brush the tip away when it's got hair in it. Also looks very cute. I love that. The rose gold. I think it's very, very, very nice looking. Opens up and... The front of it looks like that. There you go. It's almost got like a coil on the top. I don't want to touch it too much. Like I said, I want to give it away. So I don't want to get all my germs all over it. Um, but yeah, it looks almost like a, a coil. I don't think you could use this on underarms and um, leg hairs and things like that. I don't think it's made for that. So. Yeah, I will put this away for a giveaway when I'm doing a bit better on my channel. I will have a few items that would have been put away and I'd like to do one big giveaway. But that's a lot further down the line. So keep a look out for that video when that eventually happens. I'm using some natural lighting in here and I may have a bit of an echo because I've closed the door so you don't hear my kitties. So to start with, I have put a battery in. And it says, first step, install battery, hold the top and bottom of unit and, and pull apart. Okay, so you basically pull this piece off, like that, and your battery will go in there. And you put that back on again. Okay, step one. Turn unit on. To switch this unit on, you push this knob up, and you can see it's on. Remove hair, use on clean, dry skin, pull skin tight, and move in small circular motions. Okay, so I have had a shower, and 
I do have some toner on. I don't really have anything else but toner and cream. So I hope that that's going to be okay. But it basically suggests that you put it on and move in circular motions like that. Now, I don't really have much eyebrows, to be honest with you. A few years back, I went to a woman and she messed them up. And I've never been able to get it right again. We need to grow right again. So I'm just, they say you should pull it back. So with little eyebrows I have, I don't want to get rid of. So I'm going to quickly do this in the mirror because I can't really see on the phone. And then I'm going to tell you exactly how it went. A few moments later. Okay. Firstly, the tip gets very warm. So you do feel it on your forehead as quite warm. But it's not hot that you can't really tolerate. So that is okay. I have recently done my eyebrows, so I don't really have much hair to remove. But just on the top, top, top here, I get a lot of fine, 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 fine little white hairs that you don't really see. So I've just removed those, which came off quite nicely. The circular effect is a bit of a, a problem because you're trying to get a fine line. And when you're doing the circular motion, it does make it difficult to make sure you keep your line straight when you're doing your, your shaping. But other than that, I think I'm going to still get some use out of it when my eyebrows start growing back in places where they shouldn't. Especially over here, I tend to get some. Then I'm definitely going to use it for that. And the little bits that do grow here on the top, which people don't generally see because it's very, very light and white. I think it's a really good product. I'm very happy with it. And I definitely am going to use it. I think it says here, once you've used it, cleaning. After each use, clean head with included brush. Twist head counterclockwise and lift off. It says that you should turn the head off, which is this front piece here. There's hardly anything in it. I mean, I haven't really used it for much now. Like I said, I'd already done my eyebrows. So you would then take your brush and just lightly dust in there to remove anything. Be careful because that is loose. This little piece in here is loose, so just be careful of that. I nearly brushed it out. And then you will just place it back again and twist this piece here. This top piece back on again. I'm using some natural skylight here, so the lighting is not great. There we go, you can see. So this piece here where that little line is, that's where you would screw it off and then obviously also the top you could just brush in case there's any hairs there to get rid of that as well but yes nice buy happy about that and i don't think it was bad for 15 dollars considering i am keeping the one item the other one will be a giveaway item at the later stage i'm very happy i'm going to add this into my video before i say bye to you guys <laughs> So guys, that was my, my Kogan's mystery pack. And like I said, it was only $15. It really wasn't a lot. I uh, placed the order last week. So with the holiday on Monday, it did take a bit longer to get here. It got delivered this morning and I was just very excited to show you guys. So I had to quickly do a review on it. So if you guys have any of these items, let me know what the brand is maybe. Are you enjoying it? Do you like the, the way it works? Is it worth having? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.